So, as we know, communication is very, very, very important to us human beings. The fact that it was developed a few thousand years ago made it possible to communicate uh, ideas and made it possible to come up with uh, more complex ideas. And with those complex ideas, they could be uh, implemented in the real world thanks to the communication between the people. And so it used to be that if you wanted to send a message a very long distance, it would take a long time. You would have to give it to a messenger and they would take the message and go over to the recipient and deliver it. These days, we don't really need to wait so long for communication. Today, we use electromagnetic waves in order to communicate with each other. And so these waves travel so quickly that you don't even notice the delay for the travel time. It means that if we use a mobile phone, we can speak with someone on the other side of the world and notice hardly any delay in the messages travel. Waves are also responsible for other forms of communication. The main one that we'll be looking at in the module is electromagnetic communication, but the other waves are quite important as well. So I've mentioned waves quite a lot now, so we should probably get on to defining them. There are many different kinds of waves. Uh, there are obvious waves, like as we can see in this picture here, waves in water, which you've probably heard of. And it, as it turns out, light is a form of wave as well. And that one's not immediately obvious. So right away we can see that there is more than one different sort of wave and they have different properties. So given they're so different, how can we find a definition that covers all different types of wave? Well, it turns out that all waves, regardless of what sort of wave they are, are ways of transferring energy without transferring matter. So we're getting energy across, which might be a message or some sort of energy pulse, and we're not having to move any objects to transfer that energy. So if we look at a water wave, for example, passing across a few things floating on top, we'll notice that most of the time, the things on top don't actually move in the same direction as the wave. They just bob up and down as the wave goes underneath. If a wave is breaking, as a, a surfer might catch, then it will be a little different. But if we look at objects floating on top of the water, like these ducks, we can see that they'll move up and down. They'll bob on top of the water as the wave goes past, instead of being carried off by the wave. And so the water wave is not causing the water particles to move in the same direction as the wave it is simply causing them to move up and down as the wave passes.